Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Megan Hine. I make videos on all things eco beauty and today I'm going to give you a tour of my makeup collection. So if you are interested in finding out what I have in my collection, keep on watching. Okay, so in front of you is all of my makeup. I keep it on this little wooden table next to my desk, which is where I usually get ready. Um, so I've got all my Z palettes here in front, and then in the back I have a little mirrored tray where I keep my brushes and miscellaneous products. Um, I didn't clean or tidy anything up for this video. I wanted you guys to see it in real life. This is what everything usually looks like. Uh, to start off, I'm just going to go through my Z palettes. All the products in these palettes are from Silk Naturals. For my powder products, I went ahead and pressed them. And for all the cream products, I depotted them just so they would fit in these little tins uh, that stick to the magnetic side of the Z palette. So I've got tutorials on um, depotting and pressing products, so I'll link both of those below if you're interested in finding out how I did this. But anyway, let's just jump in. So first up is my Z palette with my Silk Naturals concealers and foundation shades. Um, I've got peach concealers, the regular neutral concealers, and then I've got a range of neutral and uh, yellow based foundations. Okay. And this palette has all of my powdered face products. I've got some translucent powders, highlighter, a yellow toned powder, some bronzing slash contouring shades, and then over here I've got some blushes, a mix of matte and shimmery. And next up is my eyeshadow collection. Whoops, <laughs> just knocked down a bunch of stuff. Um, I have a full video going through every single color in here, so I will link that below. If you see something you like, uh, you can figure out what the name is. Um, I love having all of my eyeshadows in a Z palette like this. I'm doing my makeup, you know, I can mix a little here, and it's just nice to have full access to everything. All right, this is my lip palette. This is a smaller Z palette. I have all of my lip colors. And like I said, they're all Silk Naturals. If I purchase like higher end lip colors, um, I usually keep them in the packaging. Um, I just don't love the Silk Naturals packaging. So just found it easier to depot. And again, I can mix and match as I go. All right, and my last Z palette is my cream face products. Again, this is a smaller Z palette. So I've got um, blushes, highlighters. Some of the blushes are more translucent, whereas others are more pigmented. I've got a few shimmery ones in there. Okay, now I'm just gonna pull this little tray up so you can see a little better. Um, okay, on the side here, I have my little mixing palette, and somewhere in here, I have a spatula, but it's in there. <laughs> um, so, okay, if I am doing makeup on someone else, I will usually scoop out product and put it onto the palette rather than um, dipping my brush in and out of my palette. I just don't want to contaminate them, so the palette's a great thing to have. Okay, like I said, these are my brushes. They are all getting washed today, so do not worry. I know they are kind of dirty. I have more brushes, but these are just the ones that I use um, on a daily basis, if you can believe that. <laughs> so let me know if you guys want a video where I show you kind of like my top 10 brushes, um, but for now I'll just give you a quick glance got face, eye brushes, all sorts in here. All right, now this little tray is where I keep um, like longer tube products. I always keep a few little hair elastics and bobby pins in case I need to pin back or pull up my hair while I'm doing my makeup. I have my eyelash curler. I just use a cheap elf one. I used to have a Shiseido, I can't say it, Shiseido, Shiseido 
eyelash curler, which I loved, but I lost it and I just couldn't bring myself to spend another 20 plus dollars on an eyelash curler. Um, this e.l.f. one works pretty great. Not as good, but good enough for like $3. All right, this is my Beauty Counter Tint Skin. I wear the shade Honey. Uh, this is pretty good for every day. It's kind of like a BB cream, but it doesn't have SPF, so yeah. Now I've got my Beauty Counter Cream Blush. This is in the shade Hibiscus. Really pretty, universally flattering pink shade. Beauty Counter Lengthening Mascara in Black. My favorite mascara at the moment. It is the 100% Pure Ultra Lengthening Mascara in the shade Black Tea. I am dying to try the Lily Lolo Mascara once um, it's time to toss my 100% Pure one. I hear it's great and um, the problem I have with the 100% Pure Mascara is that it smudges a little so I'm hoping the Lily Lolo is a little more long lasting. All right, now I've got a Beauty Counter Color Outline Eye Pencil in black. Uh, pretty good product, not super pigmented, but good for a natural everyday look. This is my Beauty Counter Color Define Brow Pencil. I, oops, sorry about that. I love this brow pencil. It could use a little sharpening, but it's a really good match for my brows. And if I'm just trying to run out the door, I can quickly fill them in and use the little spoolie to brush them out. I feel like we're on a beauty counter roll. All right, here is the beauty counter touch up skin concealer pen, shade medium one. Uh, this is a great shade for under my eyes, cover up any redness around the nose. It's not super, super pigmented, so I can't really use it on hyperpigmentation or blemishes, but good for just a quick little pick me up. Okay, now I've got the Juice Beauty, what is this called? Luminous Lip Crayon. This is the shade 12 Malibu. It's a pretty pink color. Um, the formula on this is not the best. It kind of makes my lips peel and the color doesn't go on very evenly, um, but I do like the shade itself. So I probably won't repurchase any more of these, but I've got it, so I'll use it. All right, now here is the Mineral Fusion Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Ebony. This is a fantastic liquid liner. Um, it is so waterproof and long lasting to the point where I have so much trouble getting it off at night, even using an oil-based makeup remover. Um, and I have super oily eyelids, so most eyeliners do end up smudging and end up kind of in my crease. This does not budge. Um, the only downside is the brush. It's not really a brush. It's like a hard felt tip applicator. Um, it's just not flexible enough. It's super hard, so you can't really get a skinny line. Um, but I'm willing to work with it because it's a great formulation. All right, and last but not least on this little tray, I have Beauty Counter Lip Sheer in Plum. I don't wear this a lot right now. In the warmer months, um, but this is a great fall uh, or winter color. It's really pretty. I'll show you a little swatch. It's just a sheer berry color. Um, yeah, really pretty. I love the formula of these. They're kind of pricey, um, but they're really beautiful, and I love the packaging. Okay, moving right along, I have my new favorite foundation. This is 14E Cosmetics Aloe Nourish Foundation. It's got SPF 23. I wear the shade 5.5 Chai. Just a really great everyday foundation. It gives me medium coverage. I can build it up where I need. Um, and I love that it has SPF, so I don't have to apply an additional um, sun protection. All right, I have a little squirt bottle of rubbing alcohol. This is what I use to disinfect or clean products. Um, just like to have that on hand, and it's so much easier in the spray bottle. Okay, next up I have a Well People. This is the Narcissist Foundation in the shade Dark Golden. This is a stick foundation. Um, I don't love it. 
I don't really know what else to say about it. Maybe I'll do a more in-depth review. It's okay. It doesn't, it honestly doesn't look that great on the skin, but it is convenient that it's in a stick. Um, so yeah, let me know if you want to hear more of my thoughts on this particular product. Okay, now I have a damp, dirty beauty blender. Um, I've been using this more and more lately. I've had it for a very long time, but in the warmer months, I love using cream products to get a really dewy look. And this just works great with all things cream. <laughs> that there for now, I gotta clean that too today. Um, next up, the Beauty Counter Mattify Skin Finishing Powder. This is just a great oil absorbing translucent powder. Um, looks great on camera. It kind of gives you an HD finish because of the silica in it. So I do enjoy this powder quite a bit. It does contain bismuth <laughs> oxychloride. I just stumbled over that one. Bismuth oxychloride, which if I wear this and I sweat or work out, um, that ingredient makes my skin itch. Okay, next up, Beauty Counter Matte Bronzer in number two. Fantastic bronzer for the price. It is pretty cheap packaging. It's just cardboard. Um, compared to their lipstick, which is beautiful, this just looks so cheap. So if they upgraded the packaging, I would um, probably repurchase this. But yeah, for the price, I found equally good bronzers. All right, now this is a fun little bowl here. This is where I keep all my little products and samples, things I'm testing out at the moment. So I'm just gonna go through them all. Here is the Silk Natural Stick'em Eyeshadow Enhancer. This is what I use to prime my eyes. It does, um, does kind of help with wear time, but what it's really good for is um, making colors pop. Ugh. Sorry, making colors pop. So if I put this down before using my Silk Natural Shadows, the colors just look so much better. Um, you get a lot more pigmentation when you use this. Okay, I've got a few Silk Naturals organic lip balms in here. Um, I got these free with purchase at some point, and they're just really nice, um, moisturizing, sheer, or clear <laughs> lip balms. Um, they're not overly shiny, so I find that lip products do stick to my lips, even if I have this on. All right, now is the, interesting. Oh, there it is, <laughs> I was gonna say, there's no label. Mary Naughty Lip Gloss in the shade Tickled. Really pretty pink lip gloss. Um, a little light for my skin tone, but looks fantastic on medium and paler skin tones. Okay, here is the Akani. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that light right. That's what I've been calling it, so I'm going to keep calling it that until someone calls me out. But the Akani Galaxy Milk Illuminating Beauty Oil. This is a liquid bronze, not bronzer, sorry, a liquid highlighter. Um, it's very pretty. Um, gives off a really nice sheen, but you do sometimes notice thicker chunks of shimmer. So keep that in mind. Don't overdo it. Okay, here's a little sample of Suntegrity 5-in-1 Natural Moisturizing Face Sunscreen. This is the tinted version in medium. Um, I've only tried this like once or twice, and I like it. It's pretty sheer. There's very minimal coverage. Um, but if I'm wearing a foundation or something without SPF, this is great to put on under. What else do I have in here? All right, here are my Tint Beauty Concealer samples. I've got medium, tan, and dark. I've got a full review of these coming up soon, so keep an eye out. Spoiler alert, they are awesome. Definitely going to be purchasing um, one or two shades in the full size once these samples run out. Okay, here is my favorite brow cream, Silk Naturals Deep Brown Brow Cream. This is the shade that I love. I've got a few other shades in my kit, um, but yeah, I'm just going over products that I use daily. So really great product. Um, I imagine it is a dupe for Eco Brow, which I have not used, 
but I've just seen the results and the consistency and they look very similar. This is much cheaper. Okay, Silk Naturals Line Sealer. I don't use this that often, but it is a great way to transform any powder eyeshadow into a creamy liner. Silk Naturals Film Noir Cream Eyeliner, just a black pigmented cream liner. This does transfer onto my lids, unfortunately, um, but it should work for most people. Okay, I've just got two little samples of 14E Cosmetics Aloe Nourish Foundation, 5.5 Chai, which I use, and then 4 Sunkissed, which surprisingly is darker than 5.5. And last but not least, I have Silk Naturals Tinted Oil Control Primer. I just found this in my collection the other day, and now that it's getting warm out, I thought I'd bring it out and give it a try. It's been really fantastic as a primer before I apply liquid foundation. So I just take this on a big fluffy brush and just put a thin layer all over my skin. It seems to absorb any um, extra tackiness or oil from my moisturizer. And I found that, um, yeah, it's just really helped my foundation last longer. So that is everything that I use on a daily basis for videos, photos, whatnot. Okay, so thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel. Let me know if you want to see a more in-depth review on any of the products you saw in my collection. And anyway, until next time, bye, guys.